I've, I've uh, discovered from this is I don't see if you can you see it rocking there ever so slightly. Like the uh, now uh, if I was to show you the frequency counter at the same time and. Yeah, it rocking quite a bit and then if we turn the DC offset slightly toward the middle on air and then turn up the frequency to about 16 we're getting that spinning nicely all the way up to about uh, 22 cycles a second now, uh, every time I try and uh, go up a frequency now the, uh, it seems to stop it stops its rhythm but we'll try it again no it doesn't like it all the way down a little bit of DC offset and so basically what we're doing is we're taking the frequency all the way down as far as we can so it's rocking and then uh, putting the DC offset down slightly and then when we put the frequency up, we can get the uh, magnet to spin. I find that quite interesting. So like, uh, it can be used as a motor. I'm sure it can be used as a lot more things than that, but. Uh, it's very interesting. I'm like, uh, I think I'm going to do a few more experiments on this. A, uh, for one, like, uh, I, I want to get uh, three more frequency generators. I'm going to have to set up some uh, pulse width mod like uh, modulators uh, to go through the other coil up here and the other coil down here. And I think that we'll be able to uh, control this uh, in an, an exact fashion, of which uh, I think this is what we're going for. So I can slow it down slightly, look. Or we'll speed it up. And if I if I mess with the uh, DC offset, it stops. Do off it back to normal. Frequency down. Slightly turn the DC offset. And then frequency up again. And we can get it spinning again, look. I think that's fascinating and uh, thanks for watching.